Hi, and welcome back to the Ruby Tuesday. This is my review for Netflix's new original movie, Bird Box Barcelona. Let me know in the comments below, did you enjoy the original movie or were you one of those that just thought there were too many plot holes and didn't like it? I didn't mind it. I thought it was a lot of fun the first time I watched it. The second time, not so much, but still enjoyed it for what it was. Let's get into it. After an entity of mysterious origin annihilates the world's population, causing those who observe it to take their lives, Sebastian and his daughter begin their own great adventure of survival in Barcelona. All right, so I think this is going to split fans if it wasn't already a split audience. A while back, we had some news that we're, I'll say a while back, a couple of years, maybe three, we were going to get Bird Box 2. This is not that. This is kind of a sequel, but more also running along the, the same time of events as you know we saw bird box one the infection of the alien infection causing everybody to kill themselves if they open their eyes and see everything that sweeps across the world so it's another story in the bird box universe if that's what we're going to call it now and we focus mo mostly on our two main protagonists as said in the in the um synopsis but the reason why I think it's going to split audiences is because it's, it certainly is different, but it's also taking the same law, changing it somewhat that the, has, in, has in the first film, embellishing it a bit more because it's not from the original writers, it's from the producers of the, the first film. I think the actors, with what they're given, they've done well. It doesn't feel like it's a huge budget, but it feels big budget in places. So they've used their budget wisely to showcase the devastation. But unfortunately, we don't get a lot of the entity, which is what I wanted to see more of. I think we see even more of the entity, the entities in uh, the first bird box. This one, it's different. But my reason for thinking this is going to split audiences and the reason why I personally didn't like it, it's very hard to do without spoilers, but the film suggests that you are rooting for a couple of characters. But once you find out something about these characters that are part of the main protagonist, because there are a few protagonists, there's a group that our, that our two main protagonists link up with. But once you are pointed in a direction, it's very hard for you to root for them, even though the film suggests that you should be. There's a redemption arc that occurs before there is any redemption to be had, which is weird. It's a different tactic to had. So it is tense in places because you are sort of wanting the people that are on the receiving end of whatever is happening that is bad to get out of it alive. You know, you're already on their side because they are one of the few people left alive that are no longer looking at the things they're, you know, they're living their world in blindness mostly and having to deal with life in a way using special tactics, ropes and, you know, bandaging up your head and then listening and making routes that are safe for you. All of that comes into play. And that is all interesting. Like when they're world building and making it feel lived in this new world, this new place where people have to live in a world like this, where entities are evil, but the worst thing is not the entity as the people that once again like the walking dead use that to their advantage that is when it's scary the problem is rooting for people that you don't really want to root for if you're pushed that way makes it feel disingenuous so when you get to the parts that is slightly a redemption story it's taken the film pretty much the whole time to get there so I didn't mind the acting and I thought the dialogue was fine, like I said, with what they're given. And at times the, the, the special effects were fine and I think the city looked realistic to what you expect it to be. But all of the plot holes, if you thought there were plot holes in, in the first kind of story of the Bird Box, are there again in the second. As well as some new ones because of how they've taken the law and they don't expand it. So that bit that you get at the end of the first Bird Box. That is where I was hoping we were going to start the story and see further on. More like this is just another chapter happening on a similar day. Kind of what The Quiet Place did. You know, Quiet Place 2 carried on that world, but we also saw like a prequel. And I know they were going to do another film called Day One. I want to see what's happening since. I want to follow the story. I, I guess I just want a TV series of this rather than movies. So I thought it was fine. I'm going to give it two and a half Nicolas Cage's out of five. <laughs> you got one. Congratulations. I realized that some people might absolutely love this and thought it was scary. I just didn't care enough for the characters that we get because we don't get enough background story of the characters, not enough time. So there are moments when your characters are in peril that you care somewhat, but when people start getting pegged off because you know they're going to be 
taken out because you never end up with all the people that you survived on this harrowing journey it wouldn't be a film like this without guessing who's going to you know die first or who's going to be betrayed first it's one of those films that you can guess what's going to happen and you know the outcome there's nothing really new and even the big kind of plot twist we guessed right at the beginning uh so that's disappointing when you see it coming a mile away so i think 2.5 uh nicholas cages out of five is fairly generous i enjoyed it for what it was one time watch is fine but i don't think i would ever come back to this i'd rather go back and watch the first one let me know your thoughts and feelings about this thanks so much for watching but most of all until next time remember live long tuesday